Okay, so this is the little guy got off of uh, Amazon. I'll include a link. Um, I don't get any you know money from it or whatever. It's just uh, that way help save you from looking for it. You can get them also on um, eBay for about I think I paid maybe 13, 14 for this and it's about the same. Um, I think it's considered used. But I don't know, it seemed pretty good. So um, we're going to stick it in. Um, now, before you ask, yes, it, it is the same size as the Wi-Fi, but the Wi-Fi have uh, different slots in there. And so it wouldn't actually not, you know, there, there's little you know, plastic parts sticking out there that, that uh, it would not fit in. So instead we're going to put it in here. Um, I happen to have a screw that I had, I was thought I was going to use for the 2280, but instead we'll use it for the 2230. And it's kind of nice. I, I looked around, I couldn't find any documentation on using 2230s with the G3. I, I don't know a little bit about it in the G4, but definitely not the G3. Um, nothing in their, um, uh, you know, uh, fix it manual, etc. So we'll, we'll try. We'll see what, see what happens. Uh, looks like it should fit. Let's see. Hopefully that's, that one's, okay. It's going to hold it in. All right. What we'll do is uh, we'll give it a whirl. Well, this is a little more interesting um, when it's actually connected into the uh, PCI slot. Uh, we get much better. Um, what is that? Easily uh, five times faster. I think with the 22, well, I, to be honest, I've never tested the 2280s in this kind of, of setup. Um, so speeds could be, you know, comparable. Um, I know I've tested others and um, I think they've been close to this. I don't know, I, for some reason I had this memory of them being more in like in the 3000s, but still this is, you know, incredible amount of speed. I think the same thing with the more traditional um, you know, SSD like, um, like something like one of these, I think is close to like 600. And then, um, I don't know, maybe the, um, uh, like the, the more mechanical drives are probably like 150, something like that. So this is pretty good. Um, I guess we'll see what the, um, write speed looks like. All right, that's the final tally there. Not bad numbers. Um, I think I'm going to leave it in there. I would kind of wish it was more like a 512, but um, I was really, to uh, be honest, going more for price. So I wanted something I could give it a try. If it didn't work, then I wouldn't be, feel bad. Or if I had to return it, whatever it might be, um, it was just a lot easier than uh, trying to order something. Um, but I think... 256 is going to, well, you know, whatever, 240, 256 is going to be fine for um, creating VMs under Proxmox. Uh, I'm going to still put in the, I uh, just showed you recently that, uh, you know, a little ways back, the uh, just a, a traditional HP SSD uh, as the main sort of boot drive and then use this for um, the, um, the VMs. Okay, 